Hello, and thank you for your attention. My name is Louise Erskine, and I'm joined by my co-author, Emily Hillenbrand. I know a few people who actually enjoy accounting, and I'm included in that group, but true cost accounting is more than revenue in and cash out. True cost accounting is an attempt by the global community to take stock of tangible and intangible assets that are generally left off of traditional bookkeeping and out of financial tools. With the through the, their global farm metric, the Sustainable Food Trust is researching TCA bookkeeping within the farm system. This metric is a survey with 11 indicators, including air quality, soil nutrition, and plant diversity. But you and I know that farms are more than soil, seeds, and water. This report offers research and recommendations to better inform two of the 11 global farm metric current categories, human capital and social capital. First, we developed a framework for measuring gender equity and racial justice on Canadian American farms. These categories and indicators are informed by a review of literature on empowerment frameworks and measurements, including the WEA and other measures. At the highest level, our achievement indicators are organized around the overarching concepts of recognition, redistribution, and representation. The indicators in the tables capture the dimensions, dimensions of agency and resources that are the preconditions for achieving racial and gender equity for farmers and farm workers alike. By overlaying these concepts, we identified on-farm equity indicators such as recognition of oneself as a farmer, equitable input into farm decisions, the ability to access adequate health care, child care, and legal supports for workers. We then use these categories to develop a pilot survey of 38 questions that was administered to 24 North American farmers and farm workers to see how effectively this tool captures inequities between farmers, employers, farm workers, landlords, and tenants across gender and racial lines. Respondents completed the survey and a short qualitative semi-structured interview about the tool itself. The intent of this pilot survey is to better understand and test the validity of the framework in the North American context and to inform SFT's global work on the global farm metric. A report concludes with four recommendations for SFT. One, embed the gender and racial equity survey into the SFT global farm metric. Two, rename human and social capital pillars to racial and gender equity. As early critiques of the household sustainable livelihoods framework found, human and social capital fail to capture dimensions of power inequalities. Three, revise and test pilot surveys in, additional, in different national contexts. Measures of empowerment, equity, and racial justice are contextually and historically specific, and benchmarks need to be adapted to reflect that context. And four, integrate qualitative tools into equity measure practices. While a survey provides valuable data to set benchmarks and measure progress towards sustainable food systems, it is important to avoid the temptation to reduce complex power dynamics and processes like uh, the empowerment score. Qualitative data is vital not only to refining the indicators and adapting the tool for different contexts, but for also opening up community dialogue that can speak to on-farm and systemic changes. Thank you.